We're here coaching the Atlantic. I'm your girl, Miles Aspie, alongside Prophecy. Prophecy. Yep. And your boy, Combat. We in the building. Let's yeah, we it, live yeah. and direct. So listen, we just want to start this episode off with a little bit of advice. So advice of the day. Stop getting distracted by the things that have nothing to do with your goals. In life, we have things called distractions. The meaning of distraction is a thing that prevents someone from giving their full attention to something else. Distractions come in many forms. They can be work-related, family-related, friend-related, habit-related, and the list goes on. When you have a girl, you should not let anything or anyone get in the way of that girl. And if you do, be sure to blame yourself. I believe in you, you should too. All right, guys, so first topic. Okay, what are we doing? Our debatable topic was, should one be deemed untrustworthy? for having a password on his or her, her phone in a relationship that their spouse or significant other is not aware of. Mm. You mean uh, having a whole separate phone they don't know about or just they don't know the password to your phone? They don't know the password to your phone. Oh, that's natural. I could I could talk about this. It's not, I feel like, it's, I personally feel like what's on your phone is on your phone. You want to put a password on it, do that. If you don't, it, like it's just you know what I mean? Just respecting the individual. Because if you're, like, say you're in a relationship with someone, that's probably your friend first. It didn't matter when he was, you guys were friends, right? But all of a sudden, you move into this space and now nah, it matters. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like certain things just has to be respected just for peace sake, personally. Well, I, I agree. You know what I mean? It's all discrepancy. What I would say on my behalf is, like, once we official official, I ain't got no password, you know, because I ain't about to be receiving any messages that I shouldn't be getting. You know what I mean? But um, at the same time, there's a security factor in mind. So even if my girl, per se, has a phone, like, I'm not trying to look up in her business. Like, you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, I'm not trying to, like, be over her shoulder trying to see what she's doing on her phone. That's that's real beta male uh beta male activity right there. Yeah. Cuz that's security. Like I'm secure. Like I Right. And I was going to say would you call that the fact that you're just secure? I'm just secure. So For it's real. basically like you have to be secure mm-hmm. in order to feel like your your honey can have a password on the phone that you don't know. I I feel like at the I I don't know okay it might, it might, it might. I wouldn't say a person would be insecure because they want to look on their spouse's phone. It, it might be part, part the reason why they want to look on the phone might be the insecure part. You know what I mean? You might use your spouse's phone. Look, let me whatever, take a picture of myself, whatever. Like, you know what I mean? But if you're saying, hey, let me check messages, because that's the number one thing. Let's keep it funky. DMs. Text messages, WhatsApp. Well, well, like, that's all. And Skype, if well, you well, damn levels. I, I could share a story, where I've had my phone going through. You know what I mean? But the funny thing about it was, the person that went through it thought she caught me in, in like the act of something or whatever. And then it was so funny because I had to sit down and look at her, and I turned my head and I'm like, "How old was the messages that you was looking at?" Well, she didn't have an answer. And she just looked like a dead headlights. And I'm like, yeah, use exactly. that one. Like, we're in a hotel together. <laughs> I don't over. think if I don't want to get caught, I'm going to put my phone right next to you with no goddamn password. I'm just doing like, that, bro. One day, man. Let me show you. I got a mouse. Can I ask you a question as a woman? You know, they say that, you know, if a woman goes do your fin, she actually loves you. Like, if she don't. Go do your shit and cur- really care about what you... Mm-hmm. She don't really love you like that. Mm-hmm. Like, what do you think about that? I think the word love is a serious word. So I wouldn't say that. Oh, I wouldn't into agree with that. You. Into yeah, you. she likes you. Into she you. likes you. She like she likes you to the point where she doesn't want you talking to nobody okay. else. Okay. You know, it's got to be that. Because why are you looking? You're looking for something so you can get an attitude at it, right? So you got to be like, look, I don't want you talking to How nobody else. She's just insecure. You know, but personally, me... <laughs> I, I I think it comes down to security as well, and I feel like I'm not dating nobody I'm not secure about. You know what I mean? I personally don't have a password on my phone, and if my honey had one, I wouldn't trust him okay. or her. I wouldn't trust anybody who has a, a password, password on their phone because I don't because personally me, I'm not looking through your phone. I have I don't want to. You can have no password around me. I feel you feel you. me? I'm like or if you school. have one, or if you have one, you could tell me. Because I'm not going to use it. Like, you know, like, I don't care. Like, you would notice. I don't give no. I'm not going to. And if I did feel like I needed to, then you would see me act like, okay, 
You're gonna make me wanna get. I'll tell you. You're gonna make me wanna get through your fan right. acting like this. Why you acting like that? You feel me? But I don't have time for the other stuff. So. I mean, different strokes yeah. for different folks. I mean, you got people that are in relationships, like full blown relationships, that don't follow each other on social media. You know what I mean? I, like I can attest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. what it is. And don't like, post them. Yeah, don't post each other. Yeah, either. for real. But for but, real. Guy, but you know what? Like. Yeah, that's as long as there's love in the household. Thank a lot of you. people don't really a lot of people really don't understand like social media is not real. Yeah. It's not real. When you go in your him, that's what's real. Like so it's like if you don't post your spouse or you don't follow each other, that's almost like more just for the people to talk about. Like, you know what I mean? Cause it ain't like where in the house saying, Yo, why you don't follow me or why you did you did what I'm saying? It might have been a time where we went through that. You know what I mean? But there's a lot of growth if you decide to stay with a person. Like, you know what I mean? Go through a lot of stages. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. I mean, because you do have the courting stage. You know what I mean? So let's just say you've been through the courting stage and you got into the official stage. You still probably about to got people that you got to cut off. Of course. You know what I mean? In the official stage, yes. Even I feel like even in the courting stage. Yeah. Because it's like, yo, like if you're getting a courting someone means like, you're taking time out to, to get to know that no, person. Yeah, exactly. If you can't really court someone, if you're courting both four or five other right. people, like right. you know what I mean, right. like because it's like how much people, how much time you got for yourself? Really, <laughs> you really, yeah. I mean? That's like, what it boils down to. And then they all realize if you're giving your time off to all these other people, you're not exactly. really developing and yourself. And, right? yeah, I mean, not being true to yourself. So you're not really because you you you're giving too much of yourself right. away. Like yeah. or 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 like the person that you're really interested in doesn't um, those people don't get that side of you that this person is getting. Right. This person is getting your full-blown attention. You know what I mean? Those people, you don't talk to them every day. Okay. You know what I mean? You don't you don't hit them up every day. Exactly. You know, I feel occasionally that. they come around. No, you know no, what I mean? No, no. But at the same time, it's always imperative that you take your time to get to know somebody because you don't want to be in a honeymoon phase thinking that this shit is something special. Right. And then once you get to that... It's, and then you find out her yeah, yeah. thoughts stink like where you can't even breathe. Well, I wasn't you really going that. there, but damn, you gotta bro. smell her farts. <laughs> you have to. That's real. Like some girl, hey, look. If you drink dairy, if you drink dairy, understand I'm talking about you. No, <laughs> I just play. I'm there. Cheers, I'm cheers, cheers to that. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> Now, with that being said, I don't know if I'll ever adjust to that si to side of the situation. Real talk. Certain things should just be left sacred. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to be doing all sorts of stuff to you. I don't need to be thinking about other issues in that kind of situation. You know what I mean? If you know what I mean. <laughs> like, like, I'm sorry, dog, but I can't do the nasty thinking about the other kind of nasty. <laughs> Oh my god! Don't no, no. even, don't even get it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> could you imagine? I didn't want to imagine. But at that. the same time, you know, at the same time, humans are humans. You know what I mean? It could be that she feels comfortable enough around you, or it could be that she just doesn't give a fuck and <laughs> she's trying to get rid of you. She's <laughs> she's trying to get rid she of you. She like definitely feels comfortable around you. I'm going to speak for the girls. The girls. She feels comfortable around you. If she's getting a lot of rip. If she's getting a lot one rip around you. <laughs> girls don't do that. that. Girls don't do that. I know girls that's told me. I, I never was able to in front of, you know, like, <laughs> they can't. They held them the for hey, you guys, hey, hey, okay? Look, 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 look. Go to the girls that hold them shit to you, know me? You can go to the fucking bathroom. <laughs> Let it out spray. <laughs> Yeah, I think the dog did that. Yo, dog, look, <laughs> seriously, seriously. I'm going up and then to the bathroom with some shit. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> no, 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 no. Bro, I'm going I'm to be, I'm going to keep it a buck. I prefer not to get that comfortable. <laughs> But unfortunately, in reality, yes, wifey, man, you're gonna have to, you're yeah, gonna have to, you're probably gonna get that comfortable you're eventually. Gonna smell that you're gonna have to adapt it. Jeez, that wife's gonna have to smell that. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's keep it moving. So, the next situation that we're gonna talk about was Rusty G made a post. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can read it for us. I don't have it. Okay. Hold on. Let me. Quick, quick. Can second. I, can I, can I, I you, I'll let you read it, but I, 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 I was on Twitter, right? And I saw a post that Rusty G did, well, Rusty G said, you know what I mean? And, you know, I was going to comment, you know, but 
I felt like, you know what? Rashi don't comment on my shit. <laughs> so let me uh, let me bring it on a bigger platform because I felt like it was deeper and it shouldn't have just been left on Twitter. Like, you right, know what I mean? Right, like, right. So I said, you know what? That's some real shit. Like, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? Let me post it in our group and see right. what we think about it because it kind of f- affects all three of us and what we're doing. Like, okay. you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, yeah. That was right. We were came from from me. Okay. okay. All right. Well, um, you know, me and Rusty got a whole different kind of relationship. You no know doubt. what I mean? I could communicate with that man anytime. So, with that being said, it must be so disheartening for the talented people who work hard and strive for excellence to watch foolishness go viral over and over again. That was a tweet. That he posted. All right, and with that said, we actually got to talk to Rusty G. Let's play the um, call. Well, of course, you know why we calling. I told you. We want to elaborate on um that post that you put up on Twitter the other day. Yeah, for sure, man, for sure. So um, to shout out to you know all the people that are currently watching or will be watching your podcast. Well, I mean, you know, I have a lot of friends that are. Artists, musicians, you know, people in the industry, you know what I mean? Music is my life. So, you know, when you see these trends kind of reoccurring over and over again, of course, I feel for people that um, put their lives into giving us quality art, you know, quality music, some real expression. And uh, we live in a strange time these days, you know what I mean? So it's like the viral stuff that you see going over and over and over again. I mean, I like a good laugh just as much as anybody, but it gets to a point where it's like, yo, (laughs) y'all can't be serious. You know what I mean? Mm. Y'all really can't be serious, you know? I get more shares on WhatsApp of something that's, you know, basically a joke than I ever get from somebody I know who's actually dropped an album or a project or, you know, it's, it's, it's just funny to see what people support at the end of the day sometimes, you know? People will be people, you know? And, And before we had social media... You know, you had artists that were always doing kind of gimmicky things to get attention, you know? So it's not like it's anything new. It's just that the technology makes it move that much faster. I mean, my thing is, is at the end of the day, quality will always cut through and always shine above everything else. You just look at all the, the, you know, greatest legends, all the artists out there right now really doing it. They really are are carving a path and creating legacies for themselves. They're, they're They're not on the gimmick stuff. Right. So it's just, you know, it's at, at the end of the day, somebody who's out there that's trying to make real music, that's trying to, you know, have a real impact, they, they really shouldn't worry too, too much about it. But it's just funny to me to see it happen all right. the time, you know? Yeah, oh. definitely. Was, was one of the things that sparked that tweet, uh, the, the blue cooler craze that's, that's been going on? Or? Oh, Jamila, I got the blue cooler. What you gonna do now? Get the blue cooler. Look, look, look. I see the blue cooler got some clubs because it came out of my mouth. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, man. We're, like, we're all plugged in. And, and we all see it whether whether we want to or not. <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's the thing about what the stuff that goes viral is like, even if you really don't want to see it, it's, it, it's just, there, it yeah. just shows up. It's just there. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and it's and it's like I said, it's no diss to anybody in particular. I thought the 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 joke itself was was hilarious. You know, I had a good laugh. Mm-hmm. But just leave it as a joke is is my thing. You know what I'm saying? You think about it like imagine if oh if we're in Bermuda and we want to ride this wave of being silly and, 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 and then you feel what I'm saying? But but, but I can. Do you I, want that to represent Burmese? That to rap, you like? Do you want that to represent Burmese in the world? But, talk but real no, talk. But no, like, but no. All right, real talk. Let's talk about it then. You guys want Stephanie go viral? Shout out to Stephanie. You want that type of circle blue cooler stuff to go viral? Right, right. Well, you, I mean, for the world to really ride well, with it. Here's what I'm saying. You have plenty of local artists, right? that try to play into what people want to hear about Bermuda. Oh, beautiful beaches, all that kind of stuff. And out comes caution with, I'm a hustler, baby. It's not done on Horseshoe Bay Beach. You know what I mean? It's not done, um, it's not trying to give you the stereotypical thing that a lot of Bermudian artists try to play to and think that people outside of the rock want to see. You know what I mean? Know what it showed? It showed back of time. It's just his reality. Yeah, his reality. It's show back of town. 
It showed what people look like back a time. You know what I mean? And I'm sorry to say it, but as black Bermudians, didn't you relate to that way more than you could relate to some brochure-looking, you know what? Yeah, yeah. real talk. I mean, I, hey, I feel that 100, you know? You know what I mean? It looked like Bermuda. It felt like Bermie. Yep. And that's what we it want. No matter, Bermuda. No matter what it is, if, if, if we just want to make sure it's Bermie. So if you're doing Bermie and it's funny, it's Bermie. Right. If you're doing Bermie and it's serious, it's Bermie. We but just want doing, quality to be but quality. But if you're doing Bermie like, right, and you're right, being hey. disrespectful and you're yeah. going viral for disrespect... Because or snitching or something. You know what I mean? Don't feel, don't feel like people rock with you. Like, don't get like you know, like that feeling. You know, I feel like everyone's watching me. Hey, I'm popping. You shouldn't even feel like that. Consciously, I feel like that's a problem that anybody will feel like that when okay. they get viral for this for disrespectful stuff. Mm. I hear what you're saying. You but should you know, feel embarrassed, but and you should want to change. Because I even in the right mind, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, right. to me, like honestly, coming from a conscious person's perspective, I would I would say, you know what? I need to check myself. Mm -hmm. I'm checking yeah, myself. You know, but, but me, you, I'm looking in the mirror, and it's getting hurt. Yeah, but you know what? You feel me? Go back to that as an example again. It, we either, we either had artists that would like go with that image or go way out there with the opposite, right? Mm. That was right there in the middle. We, we we live in a country that you know we like jokes. Like a lot of people just like to laugh. Like no, that's just that's the bottom line. Like and if y'all type of person that don't mind being laughed at then you will find a lot of success, not just in music, but in anything, because people would be, you, you got tough skin. Yeah, you know? yeah, you could use the gimmick. You could use you, make yourself right. a gimmick and then come up over that. And that's what, that's the edge we're living in right now. Yeah, you know that's true. I mean? Look at Deja Cat. She blew right off. She's me? fire. But well, she's been out mm. for a while. As before, until she made herself a but gimmick, we, oh, but and well, she blew up. But we're also in the age, right, where being an artist, like, there's a difference between just having the music and actually building a brand, right? One of my favorite artists, China Mac, right? He doesn't just put out music. Mm -hmm. He has a YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah, yeah. Um, he has Mac Eats, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, where he goes around, like, sampling different foods and right. stuff like that. Right, right. And what he said in the interview was, dog, I'm at the age where I got to try and find different avenues and mm -hmm. try to m make them all work for me. Yeah, for Fast. sure. You know what I mean? Because he's a brand. He's not looking at himself exactly. as just as a rapper or yeah, artist. Yeah, he's not sticking like, to one. He knows like, he's capable brand. of more and he's doing it, yeah. and I respect yeah. that. Now, each, each one of us sitting at this table got potential to just sit and do music. But here we are putting out a podcast. Cause this is adding to each of our brands. You know, you know that. what I mean? You know that. Exactly. You know what I mean? I feel like I feel like at the end of the day, like it's hard to you want to affect culture. Like how do you want your legacy to be? Like you know what I mean? Like like me personally, I don't want my legacy to be like um funny. Like <laughs> personally, it could be funny. Like people know me could know I'm, I'm a funny guy, but I want my legacy to be serious. I want to leave some serious because I was a youth. Doing music, like you know what I mean. So my goal is to affect the youth well, because your brand has to tailor to who you are. Yeah, for real. I like inspiring people. You know what I mean. I like doing battle rap because that provokes that little warrior spirit in me. So like, I like to feel like, you know, um, even if you go to my Instagram or whatever, all I put up all day is inspirational quotes and stuff mm. like that. People actually get something out of it, and I get something out of people getting something out of that. Right. You know what I mean? That's positive. So, like, at the end of the day, you know, I think it should tailor to who you are as a person. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And people always gravitate to something that's authentically you. You yeah. know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. General Caution, don't just make music. He has a, a clothing line. Yeah, shout out General yeah, Caution. You know what I mean? He's a fashion guy. Like. It's, it's, it's music. Me an artist, but then it's brand building. So that means that there's there's a whole package that comes with you. Yeah, you feel me? Right. And I and I just want I just want our people to just, you know, get like tune out of pop culture a little bit more and kinda tune into what's going on her because it's really elevated. No matter what you're into, like, you know what I mean? It's whether it's fashion, music, podcast, entertainment, whatever, like people are doing their thing and if you just tune out of pop culture a little bit more, because they're already making the millions, like, and it's not even really as official and genuine as we might think. A lot of things are very scripted, like, you know what I mean? In a major type of way. So it's like, you know, if you tune out of that a little bit more and tune into what your people are doing on, on your rock more, we'll be able to make what we're doing in Burmy more official, no matter who's doing it. And for our youth coming up. And for our youth coming up. It's going to go through what we went through if we can't, you know? Exactly. Well, you have to stop and think about it. 
when all of us went through this, you know, um, we all wanted to do something with what we were doing, you know what I mean? And we had to leave that fate in the hands of somebody else who pretty much would tell us, oh, I can help you out, I can get you there. It wasn't really until we took matters into our own hands. Now, a legacy that we probably might want to leave behind is we want to provide a little bit more of an educated type of, uh, how should you put it, advice? I don't know what I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but guidance. yeah, it's guidance. Because I look at it like this: every time I needed help, um, I could say particular peers didn't want to really give me that advice. So that's why, like, when somebody genuinely comes to me, and don't get me wrong, I'm not in love with my hype, or I don't, I'm not big headed. But if a person is coming to me for advice, you know what I mean. My whole thing is, I'm gonna keep it straight up, real, and I'm gonna tell you everything that I feel like I did wrong, and everything I feel like I should have did right. You know what I mean? And that's just how it is because I remember how it was when I wanted so bad. For like my peers that were older than me that actually rapped on the island to just give me some help. Yeah, that's you know that's that's I mean? real. Yeah. You know. So yeah. guys, as we all know, the coronavirus has oh. been going viral. You know, hopefully not literally. And I don't. Anyway, <laughs> it's viral, but viral as 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 we as are showing us. Like. Yeah, and it's everywhere. Y'all gotta excuse so, us. So exactly. So if we talked about it being a conspiracy. Like what you stated, that's what they're showing us, cause that's what that's what makes it viral. Uh. Why is it on the Lysol can already? I'm confused. Well, I did see a <laughs> post of somebody saying that they feel like it's not real. Like the you know? coronavirus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, 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 I don't know. I think What's it's real. real. I think it's real. I think I think I think I think it's real. You gotta talk in it. I think it's been been there like like it's been on, like you said it's on the Lysol, so they already kind of knew. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, a lot of things are getting regurgitated nowadays, like, you know what I mean? And viruses are one of them, like movies, viruses, music, like, it's just, they're just, you know, it's nothing new under the sun. And I feel like all they're really trying to do, like, personally, like, how I feel is like, yo, they're just trying to, like, scare the public and scare the masses because fur creates a certain energy they need, like. Fur creates control. You got to control Three, anybody yeah. if you're. That's from relationships to people, everything. So they're, so they're creating an atmosphere of fur right now, and right. I, and I, and I believe that you know if we tune in heavy to it, we're gonna get more and more scared. Cause my sister's heavy, sending me stuff all the time. Like <laughs> y'all, like and I'm like yo, I'm saying I'm like Bubba, please, with it, yeah. like just don't be scared. Like cause at the end of the day, that's what they want from you. Yeah, man, I feel like bar flu wasn't that the last thing that went wrong and. Ebola. I don't know nobody who got any of that. Oh, oh, what's it called? You know what oh, I mean? So swine what is that about? Swine flu. Yeah. Like yeah. It's, it's, just, it's, it's just for the fur of the masses. That's what that's all they're really trying to do. And they're probably trying to inject us again. Oh, take this needle now. You know, it, it, you it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of underhanded stuff going on, but it's real. Don't get it fucked up. You can't go to Wang Shu China. Oh, excuse me. You can't go to Wang Shu China and think you know what I mean? Like even though they got a guy that's reporting live, I don't know if you watch YouTube. They got a guy that's reporting live from where it all started. It's our American, and it's dirt. He's walking the streets like, "Yo, it's empty. It is literally empty. Nobody's like walking around like that. They're driving around, but it's dirt. And it's walking around. It's like, yo, like." What's the skirmish? Like, what, what's, what's exactly. really going on? Like, exactly. <laughs> and they even talked about how they closed on Starbucks and in, in out there because I'm like, because of what? Like, don't even make no sense. Why would you close down Starbucks? <laughs> Like Starbucks you're making it way big, like. yeah. You like you're making it way larger than it. I'm, and I'm confused. And they end up talking. To, then they try to create fur because they. I remember the news stating uh, they made it seem like oh these people have been you know detained or like to themselves. Yeah, Don't worry. Yeah, they're quarantined. The quarantine. And it's like oh we realize now that thousands of people must have fled the you know country before. So you know. So right. Now so now we have to worry about it. You know what I mean? So it's like, but they make it seem like they, it's a setup. It's 2020. But the people are working We ain't, we ain't It's anymore. 2020. There's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of things that's going to happen. And if you ain't been studying, like, you're getting got caught up in a lot of this media fiasco. Yeah, real That's all I'm going to say. Well, yeah. I guess the phrase stay woke comes into mind, even though that's yeah, the most real. played out phrase to date. But at the end of the day, Has you know what I mean? Been. Knowledge is definitely power. Yeah, you right. know what I mean? So it is what somebody could feed you. Mm. You know what I mean? And then it is exactly like 
what you know about. You know what I mean? Like, like if you take time to study different things. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I mean, for all we know, I find it, and I don't want to, we ain't got no wood knock on, but, yeah, uh, 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 you know, I like I just find it very odd that it's in all these places, and you would think half of the globe would be dumb by now. If you think, yeah, because you could it transfers by the eyes, you you guys it transfers by the eyes, <laughs> you everybody close your eyes, like. Cause you you're gonna get the coronavirus. So you telling me, the, Yo, did you just see that movie? What's it called? Like, bird box, like, like this is what I'm saying. They're really trying to play the you. Bird box and guys. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. Y'all like the no, bird box and Don't shut up. Cause the bird box and I didn't even know that part. Yes, they you guys do your eyes. It's crazy. So if you had it, I just caught it. Right. <laughs> well, I'm about to tell you. I'm giving it to you. Well, wait, 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 though. Wait, 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 wait. But yet. <laughs> but, but wait, but wait, but wait. Yet, though, all we see is people wearing these masks. Yes, bro. But some but, but Why don't I wear shit? No, but they wear, some people got goggles. goggles too. The ones that's up on game. Try to get masks and goggles, man. I, I need to look more into this joke. virus then. Bro, I, I stopped watching it because it was a joke. I'm like, this is a joke, No, bro. you done did it. Wow, damn. Yeah, well, we all stay, got it. Stay if he, woke, he had man. it, we all got it. Yeah, <laughs> man, he bought it, it. Well, the next thing we're going to talk about is Roddy Rich. Shout out Roddy Rich. It's number one on Billboard. Um, Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez apparently were really upset. Um, they gave, they gave, you know, they gave courtesy to your boy for what he did. You know, shout out Roddy Rich for being number one. But they really wanted to be number one, and that's okay because I think that's what we all want, right? Yeah, for sure. So I just found out that my album is neck to neck with another incredible artist. I told people before that, you know, n it's not about numbers for me, but I would love for the most important album I've ever released to become number one. So um, it, if you don't mind streaming it or uh, listening to it on all the platforms, it would mean the absolute world to me. This is, again, something I, I dreamed about for so long but regardless i just hope that you guys are enjoying it and that it all it's something that you all can just enjoy and have so no worries either way i'm happy <laughs> what triggers me and makes me think is the fact that we're living in a like you mentioned earlier you know you brought it out we're living in a new age where people like roddy rich of course they have a push you know, but it's not as big as a pop star push. You know, like the pop star push. Justin's been on been on Allen. He's been on um, the Allen DeGeneres show. He's been on his his live doing stuff with his his followers and fans, going one on one with him. Like, did you download the song yet? It's even it's even been um, rumors stating that he did something where he Hold posted up. some posts, and I'll show him her, where he must have said, "Oh, I wanted to." Um, he was showing people how to get his Spotify going, his Instagram, I mean, his Justin iTunes people? going, yeah, okay. to get the generated views, but he took it down. Yeah, because that's, um, that's, that's not, illegal. Right. I heard that that was illegal <laughs> afterwards, illegal, right? but every, people already screenshotted it. I so have it was no sympathy for Justin Bieber. You know why? I just pulled up his Instagram. He's got 126 million followers. And now let's look at Roddy real fast. I just see yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, for real. Let me, 126 let me. million Justin so Bieber. So even if 10% of that interacts. Exactly. It's still over a million. Wow, Easy. exactly. And Roddy got 4.2 million. 4.2 so million. So 122 million more. You said 126 for the other one? Yeah, 126 for Roddy. <laughs> so that goes to show you about Bieber. damn Instagram numbers, people. Like, you guys yeah. want so much followers. It's not it's not the amount of followers, it's who's engaging in their in your content. Exactly. So if you've got this big fucking wow well machine following. behind you yeah, and yeah. it's like it's un, it's not as genuine. And you got followers or are there's real followers now, mm, I'm wondering. Like exactly. is there's even real followers or is the machine uh, behind you generating. trying to keep you to a certain level so they do this? Look, 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 look. <laughs> Okay. Justin Bieber, pop culture star. Icon. Right, Roddy Rich. I mean, let's be real about it. Until he's out there, out there, he's probably in the urban market. Mm -hmm. I don't sympathize for Justin Bieber. That what? That man's been having hits for how long? Yeah, for real. You know what I mean? And 
I'm sorry, but if I can see somebody that's from the bottom come up, you know what I mean, and do that in a modest way without the big machine behind them and everything like that, I don't sympathize with Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber's been good. Like, you know what I mean? Can they can I play devil's advocate, dude? Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to play devil's advocate, right? Because, okay, bang. I don't believe that Roddy Rich has not got a machine behind him. I just think the machine's yeah. solid. Mm-hmm. And they do that a lot over. her. Mm, he's definitely because signed they, to a label. This is what I'm saying. And, and it's like, okay, you know, that illusion of independence goes a long way. You know what I mean? And a, lo- a lot of artists play that game to make to sell that 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 that, that dream to the youth because it's like, yo, that's who's actually streaming. That's who's actually you feel me? And they want to make them feel like they can make it same way with all the machine behind. Them. Look, you just gotta grind. You just gotta this, which is true too. But you gotta think, Nipsey Hussle probably opened up doors for that man with that one song that would have never been opened up to him if he was really. On some independent or, type tip. Well, here's talk. another thing. How about he actually makes good music? He does make hot music. Like, there's no gimmick to it. He does there's make hot no music. There's no hypnotism. There's no payola or none of that. Roddy Rich actually has good songs. Yeah. And Yummy might actually be garbage. Right, right. I don't, yummy's, like, yummy's, I don't like Yummy. Yummy's, yummy's and I love, I love the box. My boy brought it to me. Mm-hmm. My boy YG, he I came look, check me. He said, look, "Listen to this. I'm gonna do a remix to this." I heard it and I we played it look, over and his, over again. Now, now like, his, that's a hit, you know. His, see, here's my yeah, thing. Yeah, for real. I don't personally think Yummy is garbage. I don't, it sounds I don't like think the it, t- it sounds either. like the same typical pop right. stuff that there's no Bieber feeling. always come up there's with. There's no feeling. But that's why I, no I don't vibe. I don't like it because of that. Like I think it's catchy. Right. But come on, it's just no, catchy it's pop music. that's not getting being against some real vibes over here, yeah, especially in this day and age. Yeah. Your Roddy Rich is coming from a real place. That's probably why it's resonating with the people as well. You gotta have exactly. something to really say. Like you know what I mean. You have to have something to really say. Sorry to bring this back to myself, but you know, there's something with you, Ma. Like what? Probably about a year or two ago. Probably a year. And my whole thing was, I'm rapping about gun violence in Bermuda. I didn't think it would be that big of a deal. But as it turned out, or as it panned out, once that got put up on his Instagram, a lot of people liked it. People like when you actually have something to say. You know what I mean? That's the thing. When you put out something that somebody can relate to, you know what I mean? Or a lot of people can relate to. Then, I mean, people are going to gravitate towards it. Some would say. Some would say. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm talking about an issue. You know, there's a multiple factors that in this day and age that make people gravitate towards what you're doing. You know what I mean? It's, more, it's, 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 you could, you, it's, a, it's a lot of hot artists out there with a lot of hot music. You know what I mean? But it's something about other people playing your music. For other people bumping your shit. Remember, you say, yeah, your boy brought the music to you. You know what I mean? It's something about when somebody else bring yo, check this out. It's like it does something to your to, to your son, like or to your to your wife. So I feel like, you know, there's a lot of factors. Rod, Roddy Rich is the new hot young guy that's doing this thing. Young hot artist that's out right now with the melodic style that's hot right now. He makes good music. You know what I mean? He has he had you know that collaboration with Nipsey Hussle and then Nipsey Hussle died and then that song blew up even more. You you, you see what I'm getting? Because Racks in the Middle probably wouldn't have been as big if Nip didn't die. It's a hot song, but the death if you know about death in hip hop, it does something to your catalog and all that type of stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. So, dead rappers get better promotion. So right, right. so so Unfortunately. If, right, so you think about their rappers got better promotion. They got this hot new young guy when it that was all almost all the promotion he yeah. kinda needed. People was waiting yeah. to hear what it's gotta say. No, so, yeah. it's got Re- Nas, you feel me? Nas will gotta be for real when Roddy Rich has gotta admit that. He might have had some clout before and that's why that's why someone like Nipsey will work with him, True yes. But, but that would be Nipsey reasonable. Nipsey Hussle's death touched the world and everybody played that song yes. after that. Everybody. Yes. So now his following yes. is pretty huge. Yeah. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. Peace to the universe. Sometimes it gets it sets up you right, like it sets you up like that there. You feel me? So it's, and I think it's and I think it's dope that and I think it's dope that it happened for a hot artist. That's see what happens when you stay true to doing what you do with music. You think about it like let's be real. It's like one, two, three, four, five black Bermudians sitting right here. 
do any of us wake up on a beach every damn day? No, you, no guys, you guys is in the You know what I mean? Are we Wait, are, right are now? we living in, are we living <laughs> are we living in a hut sipping on sipping on like alcohol out of a uh, out of a pineapple or something like that? Let's be real about this. That's what they Cheers. that's what they make Brammy that's what they make Brammy believe. So when you go away, they people think that they're like you no, know, they know. ask us that question. Coach like, in hey, the Atlantic I don't audience? even get offended. I'm just like hey. Coach in the Atlantic audience, if you could like see what's on the opposite side of the camera right now, dog, we in the hood. Serious, easy, easy, you know easy, what I mean? For real, That's we in the hood. Facts, yeah. We in the hood, bro. You know what I mean? Like we are not out here wearing shorts with the bright sun blazing over us or whatever. We ain't got the corporate world investing in our brand and at youth. That's what I'm saying. People don't realize how valuable of you is, man. Bro, they don't even is. realize how valuable of you is. And I'm not is, trying man. to paint. Bro. I'm not trying to paint everything as an ugly picture because there's not. a lot of beautiful where we're at yeah, too. Definitely. We got a come on. We got this. Farm Beautiful right, view behind us. Right yeah. behind us. But unfortunately, on the opposite side, I, can I say it? People have been shot over there. You know what I mean? I'm, what, what I'm going to do? Hide about it? Be ashamed of it? It's our reality. You know what I mean? We can't find a solution to the problem if we don't talk about it. Yeah. We need to fix that problem, but it's like it's everywhere and it's hard. Yeah. But didn't the newspaper put out or whatever the news put out that it's been last fatalities in one year? And then what happened? What happened a week after? What happened after that? Someone something happened. There was a viral video going around of somebody getting somebody running up Court Street getting shot at. Oh man, guys! Like someone was like, "Oh, that's what no, you, you think? Gotta, well, let me just change just, that narrative." No, no, no. You know what it is? Look, it's marketing purposes. If you want tourists to come to this island you got to paint this beautiful picture all the time you know what i mean but the truth is i'm sorry to say this but people like you and me we're working like two three jobs because this is one of the most expensive places in the world we don't get a hand in none of that money you know what i mean i don't know a millionaire i ain't grown up with a millionaire yet i wish can you can you give me some Hey, shout out to Roddy Rich for being number one. Yeah, let's shout bring, out, bring it shout back out to Roddy Rich, bro. <laughs> shout out to Roddy Rich. Yeah, let's bring it back. Shout out yeah. to, hey, and you know what? Shout out to um, the fact that it's making the big celebrities and the big pop stars have Rock to gather their grizzly uh, yeah, and, and, and promote harder. and try to reach out to their fans a little more. Yeah. Like, that's, the, that's the real, that's the real, man, that's the fans. Yeah, like, you, finally con- you finally get in contact with your fans. How much no. Selena, Ten years Selena, later. Yeah, like, how much uh, Selena uh, Gomez fans is like, yo, oh, wow, she's actually acknowledging us now, like, you know what I mean? Like, but all right, guys, don't forget the advice of the day. All right, stop getting distracted by things that have nothing to do with your girls. I believe in you. You should too. Coaching the Atlantic. Facts. We're out. Out.